In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear friends, you're welcome as we celebrate our Advent Mass and the Annex um, to the garden. We managed to stay outside all that time, so which was miraculous. So you're very welcome to our Mass for the first Sunday of Advent. Our distinguished filmmaker is here, as usual, Alessandro, and Paul is here, but our beloved wee Cosmo has a virus, so he's staying at home um, with mum. Um, so we send our best wishes to both of them. Whoever you are, dear friends, wherever you are in the world, you're heartily welcome to this uh, Advent Mass. We pause and ask the Lord to look upon us and those we cherish with kindness and with love. O oh Lord, you search me and you know me. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You know my rising and my resting. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. All my ways lie open to you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. <coughs> A reading from the prophecy of Isaiah. You, Lord, yourself are our Father. Our Redeemer is your ancient name. Why, Lord, leave us to stray from your ways and harden our hearts against fearing you? Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your inheritance. Oh, that you would tear the heavens open and come down at your presence the mountains would melt. No ear has heard, no eye has seen any God, but you act like this for those who trust him. You guide those who act with integrity and keep your ways in mind. You were angry when we were sinners. We had long been rebels against you. We were all like men unclean, all that integrity of ours like filthy clothing. We have all withered like leaves, and our sins blew us away like the wind. No one invoked your name or roused himself to catch hold of you, for you hid your face from us and gave us up to the power of our sins. And yet, Lord, you are our Father, we the clay, you the potter, we are all the work of your hand. The word of the Lord. Thanks be, be to God. God. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. God, God of, of hosts, bring, bring us, us back. back. Let, Let your, your face shine on us and, and we shall, shall be saved. saved. <coughs> o shepherd of Israel, hear us. Shine forth from your cherubim throne. O Lord, rouse up your might. O Lord, come to our help. God, God of hosts, hosts bring, bring us back. back. Let, Let your face shine on us, and we, we shall be saved. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this vine and protect it, the vine your right hand has planted. God, God of hosts, hosts bring, bring us back. back. Let, Let your, your face shine, shine on us, and we shall, shall be saved. May your hand be on the man you have chosen, the man you have given your strength, and we shall never forsake you again. Give us life that we may call upon your name. God, God of hosts, bring us back. 
Let Let your your face face shine on us, and and we shall shall be saved. A reading from the first letter of St Paul to the Corinthians. May God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ send you grace and peace. Never stop thanking God for all the graces you have received through Jesus Christ. I thank him that you have been enriched in so many ways, especially in your teachers and preachers. The witness to Christ has indeed been strong among you, so that you will not be without any of the gifts of the Spirit while you are waiting for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. And he will keep you steady and without blame until the last day, the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because God, by calling you, has joined you to his Son, Jesus Christ, and God is faithful. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be on your guard, stay awake, because you never know when the time will come. It is like a man travelling abroad. He has gone from home and left his servants in charge, each with his own task. And he has told the doorkeeper to stay awake. So, stay awake, because you do not know when the master of the house is coming, evening, midnight, cockcrow, dawn. If he comes unexpectedly, he must not find you asleep. And what I say to you, I say to all, stay awake. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, we celebrate the uh, first Sunday of Advent. Today we enter a new liturgical year leaving another one behind us. The season of Advent resets the clocks and the calendars of Christian worship as Advent summons us to a new beginning. The famous opening paragraph of Charles Dickens's novel A Tale of Two Cities is worth recalling in the present dangerous climate of our world. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief. It was the epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light. It was the season of darkness. It was a spring of hope. It was the winter of despair. We had everything before us. We had nothing before us. As we begin Advent and approach Christmas, what do we have before us? Where will we go if we can this Christmas? Will we attend church? Will we survive the relatives and the in-laws if they come? Will this Christmas have anything to do with Christ, with the astonishing entrance of the Son of God into our fragile world? How will we remember the poor this Christmas? One observer noticed this on the run-up to Christmas. He writes, Just before last Christmas, I sat in a cafe inside a fashionable department store. I was watching the shoppers come and go. Most of them, I thought, had come not to buy things they already wanted. It was as if they had come looking 
for something to want, something that might fill a nameless need, even if only for a moment. And so the hunt goes on for something that will satisfy the huge hunger inside us. Time moves on with pitiless regularity. Perhaps this is a good moment to pause, to look back and to look forward, to look back at a year that is thankfully coming to a close and look ahead to the year that will soon begin. Advent is given to us as a time of pause when you take a breather and look back at this year. Do you think our world has progressed much? Do you think you are a better person than you were last year? How have you grown this year? What good things have happened to you? What bad experiences have you endured? Have you lost anyone close to you this year? Has anyone close to you died or has someone you love moved away out of your life? Is there a new absence in your life? Is there a new presence in your life? Have you made new friends? Has it been a manageable year for your family? Have you managed to stay close to your family? Do they know you love them? If you haven't told them, that secret will be the worst you have ever harboured in your life. Do you feel better about yourself now? than you did last year? Are you still excited about your vocation, your career, your work? How have you changed? And when you look ahead to the approaching year, how do you feel about it? Are you looking forward to something this new year? Is there anything you're afraid of? Is there something you're dreading? Are you longing for one particular thing to happen? What are you looking forward to? Anything? Dear friends, we're a community of memory that looks back and we're a community of spirit that looks forward. It's important, though not easy, is it, to look back with kindness and to look forward with hope. This year is closing down and a new year beckons. Let's hand over the past to God for his healing blessing. Let us ask the Lord to face the future with us because we do not want to face it alone. Let's pray for each other, dear friends, and for all those we love and cherish, that each one might know the promise of the Lord that he makes at the end of the Gospel. Know this, I will be with you even unto the end of the world. During Advent, we prepare ourselves for the incarnation of God as man, as new homes for him to dwell. The long hours of waiting are almost over, and the dawn of our salvation is about to break. We pray for Pope Francis and all clergy and religious, 
We ask that they may be ever watchful in their hearts for the second coming of Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for governments around the world that they may humble themselves in the service of others, as did our Lord when he came as a helpless baby. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. With the recent elevation of the shrine of St. Winifred in Holywell to a national shrine of England and Wales, we pray for all women who, like St. Winifred, have suffered violence and abuse. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. Thank you, Paul. Thank you very much. Dear friends, thank you for continuing to send in your prayer petitions, and I have three of them here. Dear Father Dennis, I enclose a cheque of £100 for your charitable outreach. Thank you very much. How beautiful to see the new baby safely arrived and to watch Cosmo's development, truth and beauty and beauty and truth. At the end of July 2021, my son-in-law Andrew and I were kindly received in your garden by yourself and Brother Richard, a visit which delighted us. Our purpose in coming to the south of England was to commit my much-loved first-born son Aidan for Christian burial. Aidan died at 60 of a heart attack at work in London. The scene at today's Mass, a constant reminder of love, beauty and truth, the truth of God who is love after all, who is before all and after all. Of your kindness, please remember Aidan in your prayers. God bless you. Dear Father Dennis, many thanks for today's liturgy and homily for Christ the King. I found what you said about Jesus' vulnerability that in, in the presence of others and the most powerless and needy in our world and how we should respond to whoever is broken and in need. As you said, these are the blessed of Jesus. I was reminded of an experience I once had at Mass as I listened to the words, this is my body broken for you. I was suddenly aware of how many people I knew gathered there in the church who were broken in all sorts of ways. In fact, all of us. We are indeed all parts of the broken body of Christ. At present, I'm particularly aware of many people who are struggling with anxiety, fear and other mental health issues. Often a hidden scourge and one which people find it difficult to admit. Could we pray most especially for these and for all who try to be there for them? Please could you also continue to pray that we might have some news of Sharif in Tanzania, whom we asked for prayers for a little while ago. We still have no news as to whether or not he is even still alive. Many thanks to all the God Mass team and to all our worldwide community. May this Advent be a special time of grace for us all and for our troubled and needy world. Dear Father Dennis and Mass team, I've been coming to the God Mass with you since the beginning and I have written before and had both requests read at Mass. Thank you. I was diagnosed with incurable cancer six years ago and have had a few operations and numerous courses of chemotherapy. I am still here, much to the surprise of my oncologist and doctors. Mm. I know and I tell them it's the numerous prayers that are offered as well as the excellent care and treatment that I receive from them. I think they're beginning to believe me. In the last couple of weeks after numerous tests and scans, my youngest daughter has been diagnosed 
with cancer. She starts a five-week course of radiotherapy, five days a week. She's allowed Christmas Day off. This treatment is combined with chemotherapy. She has two children, Sam, who's 15, who has autism, start, starting his mock GCSEs, and Lily, 11 years old, in her first term at senior school. So many prayers are needed for strength, courage, grace and healing for Adele and her children and for me so that I can be there to support them and help them as much as possible. It's such a blessing to watch Cosmo grow and develop week by week. I love being at the God Mass and watching him grow. It's been such a blessing in my life. Also, thanks for your wonderful resources available at your bookshop. Our prayer group have used several in all our sessions. Thank you for being you and doing all you do. You're a blessing to so many worldwide. You're always in my prayer. God bless you and the Mass team. Love, peace and blessings for you all. God our Father, again, we hold the prayers that people ask us to recommend to you. We recommend all these prayers of thanksgiving and petition in the name of the one you call beloved, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Mm. Good. Thank you, Paul.
pray that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make gathered from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. <coughs> In a similar way, <coughs> when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, <coughs> he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you <coughs> and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Thank you, Alex. We proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and profess your, your resurrection. resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the, the memorial of his death and resurrection, <coughs> we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking <coughs> of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. I'll just read this quietly. Remember. remember also, brothers and sisters. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, <coughs> hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. <coughs> Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress <coughs> as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, <coughs> who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Good, good. Advent Calendar, a poem by Rowan Williams, former Archbishop of Canterbury. He will come like last leaf's fall, one night when the November wind has flayed the trees to bone, and earth wakes choking on the mould, the soft shrouds folding. He will come again like frost. One morning when the shrinking earth opens on mist to find itself arrested in the net of alien beauty. He will come like dark one evening when the bursting red December sun draws up the sheet and penny masks its eye to yield the star-snowed fields of sky. He will come, will come, will come like crying in the night, like blood, like breaking, as the earth writhes to toss him free. He will come like child. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God bless you and keep you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go glorifying the Lord by our life. Thanks be to God. Thank you sincerely, dear friends, and a special thanks to all who are helping us with our charitable outreach, especially to Zimbabwe and Ukraine. God bless you all, and thank you.